Hi there again, everybody. Martin Tyler along with Alan Smith for your commentary today on this match, which is going to have an extra factor to it. The heavy rain that's been falling. Yeah, the ball is going to skid across the surface. I think you used to like these kind of conditions because you get one or two mistakes. If you're on your toes, there's one or two goals about for strikers. Today's game, Manchester United against Aston Villa. That rumour mill is going round and round and round about him. Suggestions that other clubs want to come in and bid for him. There's no shortage of those other clubs. But he is still contracted to this team and they're prepared to play him. I think he's a good professional, so I wouldn't expect his, his attitude to change. He'll do his best as always. This is then the Manchester United lineup. David De Gea starts in goal, and as for the attack, Kelechi Ikienacho plays up with Mauro Icardi. The Aston Villa team for this game. Andrew Bakuna starts, despite looking shaky in recent games. Gary Gardner starts, a player struggling for four. But they just go with the one striker up front. Jonathan Moss is the man in charge today. Referee for today's game is Jonathan Moss. Thank you, Old Trafford. Enjoy the game. Game started by Manchester United. Fine save he's made there. And he's not let the ball escape his grasp. Gary Gardner. Leandro Bakuna. Here's Andreas Pereira. Came in with a challenge. Icardi! It's an offside decision. Well, the players can't believe it, and neither can the crowd, but it's the right decision. Well, this must have been very tight indeed, but we get the advantage of another look that the officials, of course, don't. No, and uh, it was such a close call, but the defence had squeezed and caught the lad offside, although he took it away well. be a goal kick the attacking football played by Manchester United has brought full reward they're the top scorers well we should expect goals because this team has got some really good strikers who are banging form moving the opposition around with their play these two players gone out over the touchline that'll be a throw to the opposition into the attacking third Icardi it's, it. it's a great start for them a wonderful goal and we'll now have to see whether that will change both managers approach to this game well, there's good competition with goalkeeping in this team and I think he might just be going down the pecking order after this well we know the life of a keeper you make a mistake and invariably it comes back to haunt you, and that was a big mistake. So the first goal, it's 1-0. Goal for Manchester United. Gardner. Number 15, Mauro Gary Gardner. In quickly. Well, he's won it back. That's a really good tackle. Going for goal! It's bounced back into play from the bar. And now the shot! And full extension, the goalkeeper makes the save. 
And that's a corner for Manchester United. Good save, he got a touch to that. It's a corner again. And he heads it for goal. And here's the shot. Good save. for goal with the header what a fine save and it's going to be his throw here well he's thrown possession away Gary Gardner So we'll restart with a throw in. Marco Asensio. Gone for goal in spectacular style. Well, I was expecting him to be wheeling away in celebration there. On EA Sports very soon for you, the Champions Cup fixture for Manchester United they'll be facing Borussia Dortmund away from home yeah high quality fixture this one there won't be much quarter given came in with a challenge just a heavy touch the opposition could take the ball away off the bar back into play that would be a throw This is an exercise in patience as they try to get an opening. It wasn't a great cross in truth. But it's down to the referee to stop the play and he's done that. There's a chance for the substitute to make his mark on the game. The injured player will have to go off. While the injured player has gone off, we're going to get the game restarted with a drop ball. Too eager, too eager to get in at goal as he would have been, and clearly offside. Yeah, he knew there was a good chance on there, and uh, he just bolted out the traps too early. Leandro Bakuna came in with the challenge and the ball broke free. And shoots! Goal! They lead by two now. Took the chance nicely and that really has given them much more of a basis for the rest of this match. It's a good performance from a very good team, a team that we expected to be better than the opposition. That's the way it's panning out so far. Yeah, you'd expect them to ease away from the opposition in this match. Can't see any shocks in it, I can't really. Starting at 
Gary Gardner. It's good work between these two. Tried to tackle here, and he's done that. On the attack here. Well, this guy looks like he's the one the opposition having the most problems with. He is. He's managed to carve out plenty of shooting opportunities. Really has tested the keeper and got himself a goal. Baker. Never quite as simple as you think to throw the ball to one of your teammates. Here's Renato Sanchez. Well, if they go in, of course, everybody goes, oh, wow, what a great decision. If they don't... Well, it's one in a hundred, that, isn't it? And uh, I don't think this player is the sort capable of finding the back of the net from that distance. Time now, and 2-0 is the score at the break. And it's Manchester United who are leading at half-time, and no surprise at all at that. Well, for me, it's uh, still finely balanced, all to play for in the second half. It's hard to call a winner.